Yeah, hi friends. Uh, this is Jitendra. Today we will going to see idem potent filter. So there is a uh, one feature available with the uh, new shop that is idem potent filter. So idem potent filter is basically used to accept the unique message, uh, to accept only unique message. So we will going to see the demo on that. So I will create a new new application, new new project. So I will name the uh, name the project. Okay. So I will simply click on finish. Okay. This is my application has been created. So where we can use the item potent filter? So basically, like when you want to accept only unique message. So you can use the item potent filter. So we will going to see in the demo how you can configure your item potent filter in the application. So first, what I will do, I will drag and drop HTTP listener into the canvas. I will configure it. I will add connector configuration. I will simply say I will keep a default setting. Here I will say like I will say item. I will say method allowed equals to post. Okay, now I will drop item potent filter into the message processor region. I will go into configure. Here you can give your ID. Uh, like uh, you want to filter a message on basis of some criteria. Okay, here what I will do, I, I have this, uh, this message. So I want to accept the message which has a unique ID. So I have that JSON message and I only I want you know like we will through through accept only message which have a unique ID. So we can define our new expression here. I will say JSON and let me check. I will say JSON ID. So okay. And even you can check on the throw on unaccepted. Okay, like if message is not accepted, you need to throw some error. To the client okay so you can check on that once you have checked on them then you have to you know like uh, have to do you have to uh, you know like set up the exception strategy so we are going to see that also okay and now finally i will drag and drop file connector so we will going to say our unique message into that file output directory okay let me create one folder in this region i will say new folder I will say, I will say out. so it has created one folder I am going to give a path of the folder now I will drop one uh, catch exception into the error handling Under that, I will set the payload. So, what will happen? Like, uh, I have checked here, throw on unaccepted. So, whenever you know you will get a duplicate message, the handle will come to the cache exception strategy. If you has been checked, uh, if you have not been checked, throw on unaccepted, it may not throw any error to the client. Okay. So, let me set some message. Okay, under the, I will say. Okay. okay now what I will do I will deploy this application and we will go into test so let's wait till application get deployed the console okay 
you can see now application has been deployed so we will going to use a postman to test our application first we will send one message uh, with id 1 let me post so i got 200 okay we will verify same thing into the out folder let me refresh the out folder okay. we have a one file in out folder okay. now again we will send same message with id 1 he got the error message already received and if we check the out folder there should be only one file okay there is no second file now i will do id equals to 2 so again okay this id has been accepted okay, okay. let me refresh it you can see two files one with id equals to 2 now again i will try to send message with id only uh, So we should get the error message already received. See, uh, we can see the error message already received. It is not error. Uh, it's a simple output. Not reality. Okay. We can see that there is a new file has been created for ID2 into the out folder. Okay. So this is what item potent filter can do. So now you know like how you can use an item potent filter in your application and what is the use of item potent filter. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching the video.